Time now for a look at your health. Tis the season for holiday parties, as you know, and more excuses to drink alcohol. But booze does a whole lot more to your body than make you drunk. Here to tell us the wide-ranging effects, and there are a lot of them when it comes to alcohol, is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. It's great to be here. I think it's an interesting topic because we all think we know what happens to us. We get drunk. But you say alcohol manifests itself in the body in so many different ways. Let's walk our f viewers through that. It does. Basically, we lose our ability to process vitamins so we're losing a lot of vitamins our liver of course is damaged we can have kidney damage there's many different things that can happen including even bone loss and it you can't even process fat right so it's it's a little bit different you know when alcohol hits our system especially if it's on an empty su uh, stomach it goes right into our bloodstream so if you are consuming some alcohol you want to have a full stomach because that'll make it less likely or prolong the effect so that the alcohol doesn't give us that immediate rush and you also listed obesity and diabetes and people who are hypoglycemic there are things to consider for them especially because as soon as you drink alcohol it's like having a cup of sugar it just goes right into mm -hmm. your system so diabetics have to be very careful uh, with that. But then just everyone, you know, during the holiday season, we're always gaining weight anyway by eating cookies and all this great food that mom will always make. But alcohol has lots of empty calories, so we want to try to calm down on the cal calories as well. Well, we hear a lot, too, about we're looking at someone just moments ago pour some red wine. We hear about the benefits of alcohol, particularly red wine, but there are other ways to get those yeah. benefits. And, and the benefits are not a bottle of red wine, a glass <laughs> of red wine. The other ways to get it are simple things, blueberries, raisins, grapes. They don't have to be fermented with yeast and produce alcohol to give you those benefits of the vitamins. And it's a, is it revertisol? Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, that that's, that's one of them. And it actually does, it's really good. It protects your heart, stops cancer. So there's lots of good reasons to have maybe a glass of wine, red wine a day, but not a bottle of red wine a day. And let's run through a quick list of how you're impaired by alcohol when you drive, because a lot of us think I've got a handle on it I know what I'm doing but truly it does an enormous amount to your perception it really does and it does a lot to your perception and your reaction time before you even feel drunk basically you have less control you your uh, stopping time is mm -hmm. much less you're not going to drive as straight as you normally do you're less likely or able to judge distances and speeds and you have a tendency of course to be a little bit overconfident so right. you know you really want to protect yourselves in these days you have to have a designated driver. If you're going to a Christmas party or holiday party, you want to make sure that you're driving in a car with someone who's not been taking a lot of alcohol. Well, let's talk about kind of a, a home sobriety test that you can conduct because I think this would be handy for everybody. Yeah, it's actually a very easy test and police are actually conducting this now too. Just have someone follow your finger like you're doing to the left and if your eyes are moving like flickering when you follow the finger, that's called nystagmus, and that means you are drunk. And so it's a very easy test. If you've, you're with some people and one guy says, oh, I'll be the designated driver, have him follow your finger, and when he goes lateral, like my eyes, if his eyes start twitching, he's not the one that should be driving the car. And that could be seriously a decision between life and death, so certainly worth knowing. Very well, good. Well, thank you so much. Happy holidays, happy to Hanukkah, and all that good, good stuff. Good to be here. All right, some great advice and things that you probably didn't know, Lauren. Yep. Dr. Goldman, let's share a cup of raisins over the holidays. <laughs>